All right, for this problem, first thing we're going to do is set up a free body diagram for the, the plank. So we have, we have the weight of the plank itself, and I'm just going to use 10 for gravity. So if the plank is 120 kilograms, you multiply that by 10 mg, 1,200 newtons, directly in the middle. And then we have ropes on each side. Tension one over here, tension two over there, and then the only remaining force is the weight of this guy, and he is here, and if he's 65 kilograms, so he'd be, multiply that by 10, 650 newtons. Now, what we're trying to find is the tension in each rope. T1 is a question mark, and T2 is a question mark. So if you have two unknowns, you need to have two equations. Okay, I'm going to erase the given. So, how do we get two equations? Well, we're going to sum the forces. That'll give us one equation. And then we're going to sum the torques. That'll give us a second equation. And then once we have those two equations, the rest is just algebra. So, summing the forces. The sign convention for forces, up, plus, down, minus. That's our sign convention for the forces. Will that be our sign convention for torque? Uh-uh, yeah. because -uh, torque is clockwise, counterclockwise. Okay, so for the forces, we're going to have T1 plus T2. They're both pointing up, so they're both positive. And then minus 650, then minus 1,200. Switch these two? Oh, yeah, totally. You could, you could switch those. Okay, sum of the forces always equals MA. Is this, is this plank accelerating? No, that goes to zero. So we'll just set this all equal to zero. So here is one equation. Now, our second equation. For torque, you have to have an axis when you're doing torque. Now, where should we put the axis in this problem? Nathan. I would put it either here, I would either put the axis there, or there. What's nice about those two spots? Well, if we stick it, if we stick the axis right here where T1 is, then T1 will not appear in the summing of the torques. Because remember, forces that are on the axis cause no torque. You guys see what I'm saying? So then, when we, if, if that's the axis, the only unknown in the equation that we're about to do, the only unknown in there is going to be T2. And you could solve for T2. Now, just so we're clear, you could solve this. You could stick the axis in some random spot. You could be like, all right, that's the axis. It's doable. It would just be a lot harder. You know, Not a lot, but it, it would be more work. Okay. So let's make life easy and put axis at T1, where, t where T1 is. All right, so let's label our distances. So the whole, the whole plank is 7 meters. The problem told us that the guy is 1.5 meters out. So from, from here to where the guy is is 1.5. From here to the middle of the plank is 3.5. That's half. That's the midpoint. And then all the way over, all the way over is 7. Okay? Any questions? Sure. Okay, let's do our sign conventions. So these two torques are what? Clockwise or counterclockwise? These are clockwise. Clockwise. Because you, well, to, do, to figure out clockwise or counterclockwise, you have to know where the axis is. So look. These two forces that I just circled are pulling the plank that way, which is clockwise. So they would just be on the right half of the axis and it's clockwise on the other half of the plank? No, because look, it, it, look if, if the axis were over here, then these guys would have been counterclockwise. That's what I'm asking. It all depends where the axis goes. Okay. Okay. All right. This force over here is pulling which way? Pulling counterclockwise. 
So let's say that clockwise is plus, counterclockwise is minus. All right, so summing the torques. I'm going to squeeze it up here. So let's start with our positive one. So we're going to go 650, starting with the 650. What's the distance for the 650? 1.5. Are they perpendicular to each other? Is the 1.5 perpendicular to the 650? Yes. Okay, plus 1,200. Okay, what's the distance out to the 1,200? 3.5. Are they perpendicular? Yep. Oh, right here. Oh, just put, yeah, put a paper clip on it. Paper clip right there. Okay, and then we go to the negative torque. So minus uh, T2 times 7. All right, thanks. So the torques will cancel to 0. So now we, what you do is you take this equation, solve it for T2. T2 comes out as 739.3. And then once you got that, plug T2 up here and then solve for T1. It's just a system of equations. So T1 is 1,110.2.